Yo, welcome back to the channel. Much love to you. If you are returning back, welcome back to the channel. My name is Juice. First of all, um, if you are brand new here, support the channel by subscribing and press the bell notification, comments, like, and share. And um, that's about it with the intro of this video. So basically, you know what you're here for. You read the title. Um, <clears throat> this video is about both vegan gains being canceled and of course cancel culture so um let's jump right into it basically in no way shape or form am i choosing sides i'm not choosing to be on team vegan gains or team um of course the opposite being against vegan gains for the alleged claims that he um has done or said or whatnot um long story short i learned this last night i did a video on my other channel about the situation but i want to talk about cancel culture more than just vegan gains um so basically i learned last night from going on my feed on youtube that vegan gains youtube channel excuse me is um has received two strikes by youtube um i'm, I'm not i'm not sure exactly what he said what he's done but apparently it's something serious to receive strikes on youtube uh, maybe he broke some kind of com this committee guideline. He violated it. Uh, whatever it is, he got two strikes. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on right now with this, with this, with his channel. So I, I'm I'm brand new to this. But like I said before, I'm not team anything. I'm not choosing sides. I just, I'm just I really want to talk about this whole situation with canceling people because you don't agree with what they say or how they live their lives or you know whatever um, behavior that they're doing. You don't agree with it. Blah blah blah. I'm not really a fan of the whole cancel culture thing. Let me explain. What I don't like is how basically because if you don't like something, you basically are speaking for me, which is a very insulting and rude thing to do. Disrespectful because I'm my own person. I'm an adult. I have my own brain. I can th I can think for myself. So just because a, a group of people dislike this one person for whatever he or she did or they, I don't need to go follow what you're doing because you don't like this person's behavior and you want to cancel them. That's your business. I speak for myself. I don't have to agree with you or not in canceling someone. You know, I'm, I am my own adult. I can think for myself. I make my own decision whether I want to support this person or not. Not because everybody else is canceling that person after follow suit. I don't like that. I'm my own person. Once again, third time, I'm not choosing sides at all. But canceling Vegan Gains' channel, that has nothing to do with me. That has zero to do with me. Okay, I'm not saying I agree with his behavior. I'm not sure exactly what he did. I wasn't in this live stream. That's where he made the comments about someone. Um, so I think someone's child. I want to make this clear. I'm not saying what he did. I'm not sure exactly. But I'm hearing rumors that he made some type of um, terrible... Um, comments or said something about someone's kid and that person happens to be deceased the person that he was the, like the kid he was talking about the father of that child is i mean has passed away once again i, I don't know the full story on exactly what happened i can't tell you exactly what he said vegan gains aka richard i was in that live stream i don't know i hate Putting out stuff that I'm not sure about, but I've, I've been hearing some hear some hearing their rumors. The reason why he's getting canceled, or why YouTube has give has given his channel two strikes, I'm hearing a lot of people are saying he made some really bad, nasty comments about someone's child, or the person who passed away, and that's what's going on right now. That's that's the story I'm hearing right now. Allegedly, this is what Vegan Games did. But like I said before, it's not about vegan gains. It's about this whole cancel culture situation. Cancel culture to me is nonsense. It is stupid. Just because you don't like someone doesn't mean I have to don't like them, not like them because you don't like that person. Prime example, R. Kelly, the R&B singer or the recording artist. He did a lot of messed up things to children. The guy's a pedophile. Okay. Uh, I won't go into much detail about what he did. But like I said, after he got caught doing what he was doing, R. Kelly, uh, messing with kids and a lot of weird stuff with women, just a lot of 
illegal activities that he that he were practicing. R. Kelly. Everybody wants to cancel him now, right? And you're entitled to. I don't care. The problem is just because you don't like him, and that doesn't mean I have to not like him because of you. So I've been seeing people like go by his music, the physical copy, and break them, burn them, all this stuff. They want to ban his music. Listen, man, I'm still going to jam to his music. I don't care what anyone said. I'm still going to jam to R. Kelly's music because I chose to. I may not agree with his behavior. That's one thing. He could be a serial killer. That's him. If he were a painter, R. Kelly, I will buy the paint from R. Kelly because I like the paint. So I'm not going to cancel everything he's done because a group of people want to cancel R. Kelly because of his behavior. They want to cancel everything that he's built, all the music he's made. That has nothing to do with me of you not liking R. Kelly. Again, I don't agree with his behavior either. I'm not going to cancel him as a as a whole of never listen to another R. Kelly song again. This is stupid. I find this to be dumb. I find this to be very stupid. I don't agree with cancel culture. Now, it's the same thing with Richard, a.k.a. Vegan Gains. Just because you don't agree with his behavior, I don't agree with it either my, myself. I'm not saying I, again, I'm not choosing size. But once again, I'm still going to watch his videos. Why not? If, if it's entertaining, I'm going to do it. Regardless of what a bunch of, uh, a group of people say or feel. You know, like, look, mind your business. Let me live my life. Let me enjoy what I like to enjoy. And that's it. If you don't like someone, you don't like them. But to go out of your way and try to, like, you know, take this down and get a whole group of people to take this down and, you know, uh, let's 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 break down their empire and everyone has to be on the same page and you have to not like, and you have to not like this person because we said not to like them. This is dumb. That's cancer culture. And that's what I don't like about the whole cancer culture situation. After being part of this whole group of people, because I mean, because it's 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 socially accepted, it's acceptable to hate this person, to dislike them, belittle them, make videos about them. This is cool now. So I have to follow that? I'm not. It's just not going to happen. So once again, vegan gains. If anything, I would say I very much admire the, the, the passion he has for trying to save animals. That's what I know him for. I, I, he's done a lot of mistakes. <laughs> I'm sure he, he's done a lot of crazy nonsense. Said a lot of crazy stuff too. But it's, it's, it's not like you're perfect. Right? It's not like you you and I, you watching this, it's, it's not like you're perfect, just like I'm not perfect. He is not perfect either. You know, he's done a lot of crazy stuff. I know he has. I've heard stories. It is what it is. My point is, if you don't like Richard, that's your business. Y'all got a problem with, with, if you know him personally, you guys have a problem amongst each other. That has nothing to do with me. Zero to do with me. That's, that's on you. You know what I'm trying to say? But like I said before, I very much admire the fact that Vegan Gains, a.k.a. Richard, he is always trying to speak out for the voiceless. He's trying to speak out for, for creatures that cannot speak for themselves, the animals. I won't make this a whole thing about animal liberation, but the fact is I do support people that are fighting for, you know, creatures like animals that are not, that can't speak for themselves and defending them, 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 them themselves and what i mean by this is this factory farming these animals do not want to be killed they run they are fighting for their lives just like you and i would because they are scared they do not want to be eaten again i won't get too deep into this but this is what richard fights for that's what i know him as he's fighting for the voiceless he's fighting for a creature that cannot defend themselves just like a child right a baby can't speak for him or herself voiceless they need someone to defend them they're innocent they can't fight for themselves i won't say all women but for some women i'm trying to make this very very clear some women are not stronger than men i'll say that so to see a man beat up a woman she's defenseless like she's not stronger than him so it's it's really messed up to see that that uh, that man will take will take ad advantage of this woman Knowing she's not, she can't, she can't fight him. She can't take him. 
and you bully her because she can't defend herself. Same thing. Just like a child, they can't, they, they, they can't, they don't, they don't have the strength to fight for themselves. So to see someone like me, my size, bully a child, I'm talking 10, 9, 8 years old, bully that child, hurt them, that's messed up. That's a bully. And this is what Vegan Games fights for when it comes to animal liberation, animal rights. They cannot fight for themselves. They do not want to be eaten. They do not want to end up in someone's plate as steak, chicken, nuggets. I, I very much respect Vegan Games to be that person 100%. Again, is he perfect? Of course not. He's done a lot of crazy stuff and he will continue to do so just like me and you. No one's perfect. But my point is, again, about cancel culture. I'm so over it. I'm over. Let's all ban this person because it's it's not a trendy thing to do. It's it's not a hot thing to do to to go against this person. We all have to be on the. We all have to follow suit because someone decided to say let's 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 cancel this person. <laughs> you know, I have a problem with that. I'm not down with this. So right now, it's trendy to to bully Richard, aka Vegan Gains. It's trending. It's acceptable. It's the hot thing right now to go against this man's channel. I'm not doing it. If anything, I'll, I'll do the opposite. I very much admire what he does for animals. I admire that he's trying to save a lot of voiceless creatures, trying to fight for themselves. I respect someone that does that. That's why I am today. I don't want to hurt animals myself. I don't believe in hurting any animal. That, that's what a vegan is. Vegans have this strange idea of believing hurting animals is wrong. That's a vegan. Hurting animals, dogs, cats, elephants, tigers, hurting them is not okay. That's it. And if anyone is for that, whether you're vegan or not, I love you. I agree with you. That's awesome that you have this belief and you practice it. Hurting animals is wrong. Are we perfect? No. But this is Richard. Again, he makes a lot of mistakes, but he is a good dude when it comes to that. Again, I'm not sure what he said about someone's child. I can't tell you what he said word from word. I wasn't in that live stream. I don't know. I don't know what he said about this guy who passed away. He's some bodybuilder dude. I don't know. His, I don't know nothing about that. If he says something so wrong about these two people, that's messed up of him. But I'm not going to cancel Richard. I'm not doing it. I'm not canceling anybody. If I don't like you, I just don't like you. I'm not going to make this thing into, into like a whole protest online and get petition signs and all this crap to, to take down this one person that I have a problem with. That's nonsense. It's disrespectful to me. I find it to be very rude and insulting that I have to follow what you say because you believe you should cancel this person. That's cancel culture. That's cancel culture. So... It is what it is. Like I said before, I'm not choosing any sides. I'm not choosing sides of Richard. I'm not choosing sides of canceling Richard. I'm independent. I, where I very much enjoy being at all times, independent. I think for myself. I'm a critical thinker. I don't need anyone to tell me who I should hate, love. That's on me to decide, not you. But this is cancel culture. They decide for you. On who gets to get praised or who gets to get bashed. That's cancer culture. If you're all for it, that's you. It's your business. I don't care. I'm not doing it. So once again, Vegan Games, he's a good dude when it comes to animal you know, rights. I love it. Is he perfect? No, I'm not perfect either. So I'm not going to bash him for it. You're not perfect. You watching this right now, you're not perfect. There's a whole, I'm, sure you have a, I'm sure you have tons of skeletons in your, in your closet. Tons. I'm sure you have some. I'm sure you're ashamed of something. You regret something that you did in your past. Said, did, whatever. Just like me. Just like Richard. Enough with the canceling. If, if, if anything, do the opposite. Uplift people. Inspire people. Motivate people to do well in life. Hope, hope that you find peace in your life. I'm not going to hate you. I just hope you find peace. Whatever that is, it sounds so corny saying that, but I very much, I pray to God, you find peace in your life. That's what I, that's what I much rather say to someone instead of trying to bash them, cancel them. God, anywho, I can talk about this all day, but I'm not going to. Much love to you. Thank you so much for watching this video.
Hope you got some value from it. Real quick, my um, podcast, I have a new episode up. It's about Black Lives Matter. Interesting, interesting topic. It's about whether Black Lives Matter is a scam operation or not. I have some amazing, amazing audio from this YouTuber named JT Pocket Watching. The dude is amazing. He's this accountant that gives you like details on why he may why he thinks this may be a scam operation, Black Lives Matter, by them receiving $90 million, right? And no one knows where the money is going towards. Interesting episode. I'll leave a link down below that you can check it out. Where you can check it out, excuse me. It's on it's on Spotify. Again, my um, podcast is called, it's called Woke Nation Podcast. Um, the new episode is called Black Lives Matter. It's a, it's a scam operation. You can't miss it. It'll be right there. Awesome, awesome stuff. And what else did I want to talk about? That's about it. Much love to you. Be safe out there. Um, any questions, any comments, leave them, down, leave them down below. I love talking to you. I love engaging with you. I'm just trying to, like, again, inspire people to do to do well in life, motivate you, uplift you to just be a better person, evolve into better people, and just wish people peace, man. Enough with the canceling and just find peace. Much love to you. I'm out. Thanks for watching.